For 75 years, Buyers Products has built its reputation on high quality products provided at a remarkable value that are available when you need them. But quality, value, and availability are more than just words we live by. They're commitments. Commitments that we've kept as we've grown from a regional trailer equipment distributor to a leading manufacturer of American-made truck, trailer, and snow and ice equipment. My name is Brian Smith, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Buyers Products. In my six years at Buyers Products, one thing that's, that's always been true is we're never going to be satisfied with where we are. We are going to continue to challenge ourselves even when we're the best in the industry. We're going to do this because we have an insatiable need for continuous improvement. 2020 brought new challenges to every aspect of life. When your supply chain was stretched thin, we took the opportunity to double down on our commitment to you to keep you supplied with high quality products at a competitive value. We knew you had to keep essential businesses running so they could help keep the world running. This year, we're doubling down on our commitments again by more than doubling the size of our distribution center. This means deeper inventory and even faster delivery. By the end of the year, we'll be operating out of a newly built state-of-the-art warehouse. My name is Gary Cato. I'm the warehouse operations manager here at Buyers Products, and I've been here since 1999. So going on my 23rd year with the, with the company. And yeah, this building went up in 2002. Uh, we've done a lot of growth. Our customers have done a lot of growth in that time. And we are completely over capacity right now. So this new building addition is going to be a godsend. I mean, we just don't have the space to do things as efficiently as we would like. This building was originally designed to do between 225 and 250 truck orders per day. We've been doing 350 on average for the past couple of years. And quite frankly, over the last month and a half, we're doing over 400 per day. Those, those orders have risen. We've only got X amount of dock doors to work with. So the entire flow is going to change when we over double capacity, go over 100% on more shipping doors and have a good flow going through the building between receiving and shipping from front to back. And there's going to be new automated conveyors so that hopefully parts and orders are going to fly through here much faster to get to our customers much faster as well. The new headquarters is an investment not only in our future, but in our customers. We want to get orders to you faster so that you can compete for the sale in this age of instant gratification. We want you to compete as a local business to create jobs and livelihoods in your community, just like we're doing in ours. To us, it's clear that we must grow together to keep our country moving. I'm excited about this. Uh, 23 years in the business and it's been great seeing the company grow in leaps and bounds and our customer base also growing at the same rapid growth. But we need this space. I am so happy for it. I, I, I could sing and dance right now if you want me to, but I'm not going to do that. This is exciting. It's exciting. It's going to be challenging and it's going to hopefully go very, very smooth. We are proud to announce that construction of the new headquarters is on track and will be up and running by the end of 2021. I'm Jim Narone and I'm the Chief Information Officer at Buyers Products. In my role, I seek opportunities to leverage technology to improve efficiency, effectiveness, consistency and control. Really to use technology as a competitive advantage at Buyers Products. Yeah, so the warehouse expansion project is certainly an expansion in physical space, but we are also making significant investments in technology to be able to better serve our customers. Um, as it relates to technology within our warehouse, these are, I would say the investments fall into two major categories. One is uh, order orchestration and the other is automation. So the automation is pretty straightforward. We're probably adding uh, a mile of conveyor, many diverts to, to move material throughout the warehouse. We're investing in, in goods to person modules, which will bring material to order pickers uh, to speed orders. Um, automated solutions for labeling, weighing, dimensionalizing material as it moves through the warehouse. And all of this serves to deliver goods to our customers more quickly. 
In addition, we're making investments in order orchestration that take the available orders that we have to process and do things like figure out what box they're going to go into based on the weight and dimensions and allow us to pick orders, uh, a large order through parallel processing, bringing all the different components of an order together at the same time at the dock. Um, again, allowing us to deliver orders more quickly to our customers. Distribution speed isn't the only aspect of our industry we're investing in. We're also doubling down on our commitment to equipment made with pride and passion in the USA. In the last year, we've made additional investments in manufacturing equipment with a laser sharp focus on keeping our American manufacturing competitive and our American workforce producing world class equipment. We can now build equipment faster and with increased precision. Combine that with our increased speed of delivery and you have the ingredients for a committed, reliable supplier. So my name is Brian Seely. I am the plant manager here at one of the Tracom facilities that we have under the buyer's umbrella. And within this site, uh, we manufacture our toolboxes, our towing components, as well as snow plows. So uh, technology, how technology fits into the buyer's overarching strategy is evaluating what's in the market and upgrading to world-class and get us to the world-class manufacturing. So that way we increase our automation, which helps with reliability, repeatability, and also helps keep us competitive at a lower cost versus overseas. My name is Jacob Kroslack. I am the Director of Operations here in Mentor about process improvement in manufacturing. One of the things that we love to do is we like to look and literally walk out on the floor and look at how a process flows. Much like you would look at a stream or a river. We like to see, is it flowing? Is it efficient? Does it make sense the way we have it laid out? And then from there, what we like to do is we like to see how can we bolster that with automation, with better flow, with better technology. And from there, we come up with a game plan as to how we want to invest in the future. So even as we celebrate our 75th anniversary, we can stay committed to the three things that have served us since day one, quality, value, and availability. Buyer's products, nothing works like a dog.